get this apple is calling its ai apple intelligence let that sink in for a moment yes apple has introduced its own version of artificial intelligence that they are calling apple intelligence which will be available on your iphone ipad or mac later this year and there is also news about apple partnering with a chat gpt so i'll be talking about that also so stick around but uh, what exactly is this apple intelligence and what does it mainly offer well that's what we are here to talk about in detail hello everyone i'm anir of a fiber by india today and before i tell you everything that you need to know about apple intelligence consider hitting that red subscribe button for detailed tech videos and also turn on the bell so that you don't miss any of our latest updates with that said let's get started Now the first thing that caught my attention was system wide writing tools. Of course, writing tools is a simple yet fancy way of transforming your writing experience in apps like mail, notes, pages and more. So basically, you can use the rewrite tool that helps adjust your tone in a text. Then there's the proofread tool that will check for grammatical errors and suggest edits accordingly. Finally, the summarize tool will help you condense your text into digestible points that are easy to understand. All right, priority notifications is another thing which as the name suggests will prioritize your notifications that need your utmost attention. So basically priority notifications and summaries will keep you focused while reduce interruptions shows only the most important alerts. Now Apple intelligence also brings advanced note taking features and transcription features across iOS, iPadOS and macOS. So instead of relying on separate third party apps like Otter, you will now be able to record, transcribe and summarize audio in notes and phone apps. And yes, that means that call recording is finally coming to iPhone. Now image playground and gen emoji are another solid addition. So things that we have been doing on services like Copilot and Meta AI with image playground you will be able to create animations, sketches and illustrations all within Apple apps such as messages and notes. Now gen emoji on the other hand is something totally unique and very cool. Basically you will now be able to make personalized emojis by simply typing a description and seeing it come to life in seconds. The photos app is also getting a couple of cool new additions so you will now be able to search your photos with natural language and use the cleanup tool to remove distractions you will also be able to create memory movies by describing the story you want to see and the software will automatically create a movie based on the relevant images and videos available in the photos app apart from this i've been talking about siri getting smarter in uh, some of my past reels well according to what went on stage looks like siri might finally get smarter with apple intelligence so now a siri will be able to understand context better and can perform hundreds of new actions across apps then you'll also be able to switch between text and voice according to your needs and let siri handle complex requests seamlessly By the way all of this data processing with Apple intelligence will be done on device meaning in true Apple fashion your data won't be stored or uh, it won't be shared with Apple or anyone out there Finally for tasks that are beyond a series understanding for all those things there is chat gpt so chat gpt integration will be coming to ios 18 ipad os 18 and mac os sequoia later this year and for those who don't know chat gpt will do things that chat gpt does best that is using it for writing summarizing and generating images and so much more right on your apple device and that in a nutshell is apple intelligence for you of course uh, not something new or not that we haven't seen before but of course finally seeing artificial intelligence uh, coming later this year on iOS iPadOS and macOS of course to our iPhones Macs and iPads well this was a long time coming but uh, most importantly what did you like most about apple intelligence let me know all your thoughts in the comments below and as always for all the latest in tech stay tuned to fiber i'll catch you all in the next one thank you for watching